goat's back in, what is this, my garage. Do you see this? Look at this. It's back. And I'll tell you why it's back. And it's not because I did any actual work. So when I flew off the cliff over there and I crashed it into the water and I came back here, when I was done recording and because I finished the episode right after that, I just exited the game and didn't save it because I was pissed off. So I just was like, screw this. And I just exited the game. So when I logged back in the game today, the thing, it was just sitting here on the on the hoist uh, with all the body damage and stuff still. While the front end was pulled off and the wheel was missing. It was like halfway through the body production. Basically what I finished up in the last episode. So I, I, I redid it from that point and it's it's fine now but it got me thinking that first of all i just love the look of this car all like haggard and, and beat up like this um that i gotta be more careful and if i'm gonna have a car to race around uh like a bondo bob or whatever we need to have some piece of crap that we can do that with and not worry about if we kill it or not because I think it'd be funny to have a car that just continually gets more damaged and more damaged over time, like Bondo Bob was. Right now, I'm just kind of picking up stuff right now, <sighs> kind of getting it all organized. But I think we need to do some work today in order to make some cash money. Dude, pick that up. There you go. Thank you very much. You know, this is going to be, you know what? Just screw this. It's easier just to walk away. If you walk far enough away, it'll, oh, it doesn't reconnect anymore. Maybe not. It used to reconnect. What does this say? News. Another YouTuber known as Alone TV loses everything and goes to live on rent after getting addicted to the game My Garage. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's so Viking. That is hilarious, bud. Okay. Oh. What the Well now it's over here. Either way. Um oh here's my body hammer. There we go. I put this over here. Now so we need to buy a project car at some point, but project cars are expensive. And also I would like to, um, uh, expand the garage at some point. That's 50 grand. So like we're a ways off from any real, like I thought I was pretty much done with this game and then they added stuff and now I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. This has been laying here a while and all it was is a waste of time. We only have 350 bucks. So we can't even do great jobs to uh, do this. Okay, we got to get rid of this too. I have paint everywhere. Just laying around everywhere. Now, if we really need money, we could sell the uh, the BART. But I kind of like the BART as is, even though it hits the ground every opportunity it gets. Um, oh, I love, I love the white interior too. The white interior just makes the whole car. Uh... So I think we're just going to do some work today and just do a few jobs and, and see what's up because what's the worst that can happen? Let's um, let's pull this into here like this and see if we can't uh, do a couple of jobs. Let's see what's going on. Where's the where's the phone? Something's wrong with the handling. Sure, let's take this job. Bam. 409 bucks. Got it. Okay, let's see. Whoa. All right, so my guess is it's suspension related, most likely, if it's a handling issue, obviously. So, uh, tie rod end maybe or something. Would you consider tie rod end part of the steering? I guess it's part of the steering, not the suspension. But I kind of lumped it's just steering and suspension into the into the whole thing. Let's just take a boo. Oh, look at this. We got shock problems. Oh, other shock problems. Front shock is there. That's bad. We got, is that a broken rear shock? I think that rear shock might be actually broken, broken. The rear shock on that side and the rear shock on, is that, is that it? So basically we need front and rear shocks for a, what is this thing? Uh, a Chad. Okay. Front and rear shocks for a Chad. Got it. So we need a Chad suspension. Let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are the shocks? Shocks. Here we go. Shocks. We'll buy two of those. And we'll buy two of these. It costs me $200. I'm not going to make $200 on this job. This sucks. All right. Let's see. This is a rear shock. Dude. Come here. A rear shock. Absorber. Now, do these come up through the trunk, these shocks? No, I don't think they do. 
Uh, it'd probably be a lot easier to get. Oh, that one's like completely broken. All right, let me see. Okay, wrench, I need you, buddy. Let me see here. All right. Ugh. Let's get both these old shocks off. And there we go. Basically, I want to make a couple of grand a day. I'm not looking to work super hard. That's lame. Uh, what are you? Uh, shock rear. Okay, there we go. Shock rear. You can go on. Oh, okay, that was done. <laughs> that didn't work out like I had planned. Okay. <laughs> Put this one on right here. I can't wait till they get the multiplayer sorted on this so I can play with other people. I think that'd be a riot. Uh, let me see. Titan. Titan. And Titan and Titan. Okay, that's that taken care of. And now we got to do the front shocks on this. Yeah, those go up into the engine bay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there they go. All right, where's the, there's the wrench. And off. Uh, uh, off. I would like to see it get to the point where it has stuff like the handling's wrong and then you go and look at it and it's actually uh, like it's just so rusted out that it needs to be fixed. That's one shock absorber out and other shock absorber out. Nice. Okay, perfect. Now we'll grab this. <sighs> Put you on here. Where do you go? Where do you go? Okay, wait a minute. I can just look down for the top. I always forget this. Guy, you need to go. You need to go in your spot, guy. Dude, oh, we had it. There we go. And you. At least this was a fairly simple job. Perfect. Okay. And now we will <sighs> tighten you down. Now hopefully that's the only thing that's wrong. Because I don't want to mess with things too much today. <sighs> Got it. Okay. Let's see. Is that is that done? Completed. Nice. So we made 200 bucks, which isn't terrible. We'll sell off these old shock absorbers. Like, <sighs> should get a couple of bucks a piece for them, I imagine. Two bucks. Nice. I don't feel like running down sho old shock absorbers to the pawn shop. Seems like a waste of my time. Okay, perfect. Let's see what else is on the agenda today. This is going so far... Uh, do I want to do brisks? Brisks? Do I want to do disc brakes? Oosh. First of all, I don't want to take anything with this sign where it is, so we're going to just kind of plop that right there. There we go. I wish you could lock it to the ground, and that way it didn't move when you bumped into it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, skip that job. Can you change? <laughs> no, thank you. No, no. Change all worn suspension parts. Sure, let's take this job. Some of these pay like there. Look at this, pays two grand. Oh, good lord. Um, I think we may have broken springs, possibly. Oh, geez, everything's broken back here. Um, do you, do you even have a spring? Okay, what do you got? Okay, we're gonna pull both those rear springs, but I think first, first off, we're gonna pull that. Uh, uh, rear, what do you call this? Pan hard bar, maybe? Here we go. Uh, rear control arm, I guess. All right, let me see. Okay, so we'll get a, a Neve rear control arm, and then we'll go at the other parts of this. So, Neve, suspension, rear control arm, drive shaft, no, half shaft, no. Where are you, rear control arm? Oh, here we go. Uh, rear control arm. Bam. Excellent. I hope I can afford to do this job because I only got 500 bucks. So let's get that in there. There we go. And there we go. Now, I think we need to check these springs. And I think the only way I know how to check a spring is to, to pull it out. So let's, let's do that. We'll pull out a spring. How are you doing, buddy? You're broken. Oh, I can't, I can't even I can't even get out the spring. Oh, I might be able to. Oh, it, it came out, but I didn't grab it. 
I can't see your spring there. Oh, is it? Did it go inside the vehicle? Oh, it did. Okay. Yeah. That one looks broken as well. Look at this. So two broken rear springs. Okay. No problem. We can, we can solve this spring spring. Perfect. Okay. This is, this is, this is easy fix is this, this is, this is, this is what you want to do. Like, when it comes to these, oh, here we go. Bam. Look at that. It's <laughs> just super, super easy. Okay, we'll put this side in. Once I figure out, oh, there it is. Bam. That solves that. Okay. We also got, it looks like a uh, upper control arm is shot on this side. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. 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 Unstuck. Okay. So we got a bad upper control arm. That side looks all right. So let's um, get that. I think we can afford that. Let's see. Upper control arm. It should be at the top. Uh, upper. There we go. Yeah. All right. Let's. Oop. Okay. We got to see if we can get that off. I don't feel like putting it up on the hoist if I don't have to. I hope that was the right thing. Okay. Let me see here. There we go. Yeah. And you can go in. Okay. And in. There we go. Upper control on this side looks all right. Looks like we got some major issues going up front here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, my God. Everything is. The cradle's gone. Everything. Jesus Christ. Well, I think this might be an up on the hoist job just to make it a bit easier. Okay, let's see. I don't normally put stuff up on the hoist if I don't have to. <sighs> but this looks like it would just be a little easier if I could get up from underneath it. Now, this is where someone chimes in the comments like, oh, I do this job in the yard all the time. Oh, I'm sure you can do it. I'm, I'm positive. No matter what you do making a YouTube video, especially with gaming, somebody says they can do it better. That's just every time. doesn't matter how good it is. There we go. Okay. Like I had a guy tell me uh, not too long ago in one of my older videos that I wired the Satsuma wrong. And the thing about wiring the Satsuma wrong in my summer car is you either... If you, if you wire it wrong, it catches on fire or it doesn't work at all. Like, there's no other in between. Bloop. Okay, there we go. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this mess. This is, this is horrific. All right. Well, it looks like this whole... It looks like the whole K-member may be shot. And if that's the case, that sucks because getting that out... Probably means pulling the engine, maybe. Mm. Well, let's just wonder what we can leave. Okay, we're just gonna have to just go at it, I guess. I want to take this off in as big a chunks as I can because that's the way I prefer to do things, is do it in sections if I have a choice. All right, let's just get all that off of there. Okay, let's see. Get that. Oh, what, what fell out? Of course the good stuff falls out, right? Yeah. All right, let me see here. This is out. That's out. That'll come out now. There we go. The spring's out. See what I mean about leaving as much in as you can? Yeah. Oh, look, whoa, look at that drive shaft shot, too. Weird. Okay. I wonder why it's going to have me a place to drive shaft. Does this one already come out? No, it is already out. Okay. All right. There we go. Take this out. And then that off, I think. So far, it's going all right. <sighs> I like how you can loosen all this stuff and like nothing falls out and it's hilarious. Okay. That's out and that side. We're going to take that's out. 
that's out. Let's take that. Okay. Looks like this uh, tie rod end shot too, so we'll pull that. <sighs> tie rod can come out. Now, the real question is, why is none of this coming out? What is holding all this in? Is it just the... That can't be it, right? Did I undo the shock absorber up there? I must have undone the bottom of the shock absorber, right? There we go. Okay. It's the upper shock absorber I'm more concerned about. Poof. Where'd it go? <laughs> there it goes. Okay. They're still having trouble laughing without coughing my brains out, which is great. Bam. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now the cradle's got to come out at some point, but... Excellent, thank you. Getting the cradle out with the engine still attached. That is an interesting... scenario that I'm not sure I can pull off. Okay, that's off. Just... Pull these brake lines. And that could come off the other tie rod. And there we go. Okay, this this came all the way out. Nice. Yeah, but these are new K member here. All right, let me see. Everybody calls this something different. All right, see, it's a new cross member for the Neve. Oh yeah, I should probably get that drive shaft out while I'm down here. All right, let me see here. There we go. Come on. It's probably worth doing the drive shaft first. I'm guessing. Let me see. Is there anything else here I need to worry about? I don't see any other problems I need to worry about. Let's check back here. I don't see anything else. So let's um, get a front drive shaft. That's 93 bucks. Jeez, this is going to be an expensive thing. Okay, here we go. Let's put that in. I'm not sure that's part of the... What? Where'd I put my... What? Oh, there's my wrench. So funny. Every YouTuber I've ever watched play this at all is the same problem. They're always losing, they're always losing their wrench everywhere. All right, let's see. Um, is there any way to put this in? No, I think it needs connection points. So, okay, let's see here. Um, let's just start with this. Okay, we'll get a cross member. That's 93 bucks. Jeez, I'm, I might run out of money before this is over. Okay, here we go. New cross member. Oh, that's good. we go. This side can be locked down and this side can be locked down. Well, that's good. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Wonderful. Nice. What, what, ooh. Okay. So this side's uh, upper control arm is alright, but this side looks like it's completely shot. So we need, I believe, where's the, oh, here we go. This is the lower control arm for the right. So we need two lower control arms, I think, would be the way to go here. Let me see. For the front, okay, let me see. Lower control arms. Front lower control arms left and right. There we go. Oh, geez, we're gonna be we're gonna be cutting this real close. Which side was this? Ah, oh, this side. Nice. Hopefully enough parts of this are salvageable. <sighs> okay, let me see here. There's no, there's no loans in this game, so you're you're kind of stuck with whatever you get. Out of bank, <laughs> out of bank. Okay, let me see. 
Now, the upper one will be easier because it's just still okay. Okay, let's just bolt that down before we go buy a second upper. Perfect. All right. So upper left. All right. Okay, let's see. Upper. Oh, control arm. Upper front left. I can't afford to make a lot of mistakes here. <laughs> I guess if I make any mistakes, we're all screwed. Okay. We're going to be out of money. Actually, I'm pretty sure we're going to run out of money regardless, but we're going to see. Perfect. Okay, so there's upper and lower control arms are in there. We need at least one front shock. We have springs. You know what? Actually, I might be able to pull this off. Both the springs look good. Okay, so what? Did, oh, yeah, tie rods. So what did I want? Shocks. Two front or one front shock, right? One front shock. Okay. This is, come on, just cheap. Front. 28 bucks. Nice. Okay, perfect. All right. Might have to sell a part off my car to get this done. All right, put this in. And this one can go back in. Now, normally I would replace both shocks in a car like this, but you know what? You can't, uh, can't always get what you want when you're limited on funds here. All right. Okay. Perfect. And you're done and you're tightened up. Nice. Okay. Now this can go in there and this can be tightened down. All right, perfect. Same with this one. Oh, yeah, we got to do the, the brake line too, don't we? Perfect. I like how you can take stuff off, though, in chunks, right? Like, you don't have to remove every single part to make it come off sometimes, which is nice. Did that? Oh, okay. Did we not? Okay, there we go. Perfect. It's going to need the springs still. But other than that, let me see. It needs a tie rods. Where's my spring compressor? Well, there it is. I like the way this works. You just pick it up, stick it in. Bam. All right, perfect. Where's the other one? There it is. This is okay. How much money do I have? $156. No, that, both these tie rods were shot. Let me see. Yep, and yep. Okay, so two front tie rods here. Tie rod. That's $112 left. Jeez, we're running real low on cash here. Ugh. Oh, what happened? Well, there's one tie rod in. Okay, excellent. And then the and then the other one. Perfect. And then we got to tighten those down. In and in and in. Now, I think that's everything. Other than the tires, obviously. Do you don't like to go on? Cool. That's that's cool. That's cool. We don't like we don't like you going on either. Is it because this thing's in the way and you're just gonna be a jerk about it? Oh my god, this happens so often. Yep. Okay, well, we're gonna have to come down then. <sighs> Okay. Down here. Oh, wait a minute. Is it sliding a little bit forward when I bring it down? Because that would be handy. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Down. God, if they saw you doing this to your car, you would never go back to this mechanic. Ugh. Oh, my God. Please. Please move. <sighs> Am I going to have to go get the, the other jack just to get those freaking tires on? My goodness. <sighs> All right. Okay. Well, you know, you know how it is. Oh, Ugh. okay. Here we go. Let's, um, we're going to jack it. Can we jack it from the bumper? They are close to the bumper. Is this too low to the ground still? Probably. Yep. <sighs> What if I get it under that front suspension there? Oh, let's try that. Don't fall off, please. Oh, perfect. Okay, where's the where's the wrench? Where's the wrench? Where's the wrench? Crap. 
There it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. I wonder if I can get the other side on too. Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, nice. All right, let's just lower back onto the ground there. Uh, okay. I think we're good here. Let me see. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Change all worn parts. Crap. What did I miss? Well, sugar butt, sugar beets. What, what did I miss? I only got 112 bucks. What do you want from me? Now, if it was un untightened screws, it would say untightened screws, right? Or bolts. Oh, wait a minute. Is that, is that it? All right, let's get her up on the hoist again. I see an axle there. That looks shot, maybe. <sighs> Better not be. Yeah, look at this. this. Is this axle broken? Oh, my God. All right, where's the, where's the bolts on the back of this thing? <sighs> Why didn't that come off? <laughs> there we go. And then get my screw. It looks like the axle shot. I didn't even notice that. Okay, where's my screwdriver? There it is. There we go. <sighs> yeah, this axle's definitely shot. I hope it's less than 112 bucks, though. Makes me wonder what the other side looks like now. So this is a hub. What was this? Just a hub? All right. Well, let's see. Uh, axle, axle. Well, we don't need the... I guess it, I guess it is this. Gotta be that, right? Was it a five bolt? I don't remember. I think so. All right, well, let's see. I could have just checked, I guess. Ugh, that's better. All right, let's see. Let's bolt you down then. Let's check the other side while we're here. I didn't uh, I didn't even think to check that. This side looks all right. I guess the pumpkin insides could be shot, but let's just hope they're not and go with that. All right. And then we'll put uh, the caliper back on. Perfect. <sighs> and then the brake line back on. Perfect. Two or as well. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay. What else we got to put on? The tire now, is it? Okay, tire back on. Because it'll tell you if you're missing parts or something. Like, it'll say, like, missing parts or loose bolts or something. All right, let's check that out. Okay, I... It said all worn suspension parts. I would not consider a hub... Part of that? Yeah, this one's shot too. Okay. Oh, no. Why does it always got to be something stupid like this? Okay, let me see. You can come off. And then you can come off. And then the brake can come off. The disc can come off. Jesus Christ! Why is this such a butt? Yes, the hub. Got it. It's the freaking hub. I understand. Where are you? There we go. No, 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 no. 
What did I what did I loosen? Oh my god, what did I loosen? There, okay, perfect. All right, so what is this? Hub front. Jesus Christ, I'm so low on money. Hub front, got it. Okay, $46. This better be it or we're so screwed. All right, put this on. Tighten that down, and then we'll put the brake. Where's the brake? There, it's hiding inside the jack. Do you see this? This is what happens. All right. I thought I was going to get away with this fairly easily. Apparently, I lied to myself. This is what happens. I hate me. I'm always lying to me. All right, here we go. Brake lines here. Okay. And then I can put the wheel back on, right? Right. Dude, don't do this to me again. Oh, my God. Stupid game. Okay, here we go. Down we go. Down. I said down. Oh, my God. Just jack it up, please. All right. Give me this tire. Get on there. Jesus Christ. All right. Here we go. Are you done? No. Now what? What possibly worn suspension part am I missing? The only thing I can think of that I can't see that is the pumpkin on the inside. Okay, let me just move this out of the... Dude, dude. Does anybody else see? Am I missing something here? Shocks, springs are good. Oh, oh, okay, great. Okay, <laughs> got stuck inside. No, get me unstuck. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to lift this back up. <sighs> All the way up. Okay, let me just... If it's the pumpkin, I'm screwed. I can't afford to replace the pumpkin. Like, if the differential shot. It shouldn't be, though, because it doesn't look broken or anything. See, everything here looks good. What am I missing? Is that... No, that doesn't look bad. See, I wish you could get partial credit for a job, but you can't. <sighs> no, I haven't had too many jobs I couldn't figure out. But I'm not seeing anything here. Like, both that hub looks good, right? This hub looks good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we got springs in. We got a control arm on. The trailing arms look all right. That looks good. That looks good. Tie rods have both been replaced. I'm at a loss here. I just, I just don't know. What the heck? Both, like both these springs are good, right? I'm not missing like a, a spring problem, am I? 
that looks all right. That one looks fine. Huh. I'm so at a loss here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm missing the whole front differential. Jesus, I kicked it around over here. God damn it. Come here. Well, shit. All right, you go up there. That's why I didn't see it. I thought it was part of my junk pile. Okay, here we go. All right, there we go. Perfect. Okay. This is where everybody comments. They're like, oh, I would have noticed that. No, you wouldn't have. Kicking it around like I did. All right, let me see. Is that is that attached? No, is that is that all it takes to attach that? Oh, nice. Okay, two grand. Okay, get out of here, you dink. Now we're going to sell off all this crap. Make a few bucks, because otherwise I just have a mess on my hands constantly. Four bucks for that. That's not a bad deal. Now, normally, like I said, I try to take it down to the pawn shop recently. I've been doing that to make more money, but we need to clean this up quick. Yeah, right. That one didn't net any money, or I didn't get it in the hole. Well, I didn't get it in the hole, I guess. Jesus, look at all these parts, eh? Jeez, that was so close to running out of money right there. All right. Normally, though, when you do that, it'll tell you, oh, you have missing parts. That's why it's a problem. And it didn't do that, which is a little bit odd. Well, I did replace a lot of parts on this, didn't I? Yeah. I'll still argue the transmission job is the best job, because I can do... Under a minute, I can get a transmission change on the on the lot of cars, and that that's great. All right, here we go. Put you over here for a second. Let's put this stuff back on my shelf. And this spring compressor can go over here. Dangerous things those things are. Okay, let me see. Let's bring this back down. Now, we're getting close enough where we could probably buy our next project car. And this time, I think it's going to be a lot of coop oh, with a V8. Everything's going to have a V8 because that's just the way. Maybe I'll do a turbo motor. Maybe that's the way to go. But let's head down to the um, the junkyard and see what they got available because two grand ain't going to buy us one of those ones over there. So let's go to the junkyard before it closes for the day. Wait, oh, yeah, I did buy this. this uh oh. I did know I could change my banner. Somebody made me one once and I put it up once and then I had to reinstall the game and I forgot to put it up since. I was very happy with that. Oh, geez. Convertible, not so much. Jesus, it's just all junk here today. $6,000 junk. Actually, the body on this one isn't in too bad a shape. Floor's completely shot, but that's fine. Engine's kind of crap. Look at this. It's a rear seat. A blue rear seat. You don't see that very often. Okay, let me see. Lots of junk. Although this gearbox is in decent enough shape. But there's nothing here worth buying. I want to go in this building. All right. So I think we are kind of screwed here um, for today anyway. But I think our, our next idea will be, let's go back to the garage. Garage. Let's go see what one of these is worth over here. Well, they don't, I don't think they put the fence here. Now I got to go all the way around here. But let's go see what they got over here for an idea for price. It'll probably be about 10 grand. Every time I come over here, this box is here. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh, uh. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Oh, what? Where? What? Come on, open up. See, this is what I need right here. That is badly damaged, but not like. That's only seven grand. 
All right, so I'm going to make money on the background here, and then uh, we'll come back and buy something like that, and that's going to become our bomb around the map at a bajillion miles an hour car, and we're going to do the races uh, with that car when we get that done. But I think I'll use a, just for a change of pace, I think we'll do the turbo four for that, just for fun, because, you know, small engine, lightweight, not so front heavy. But otherwise, I'm going to leave this episode here, so thank you so much for hanging out with me in my garage. Literally says on the side of my garage. I appreciate it very much. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe, your dog to subscribe, your horse, your cow, your your mice. And if you didn't like this, well, you probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I just I just want my voice back so I can laugh without coughing. That would be that'd be grand. Out.